And in only here on KION, we're just days away from a new sheriff taking over in Monterey County. How is the transitional process going? What are the challenges facing the new sheriff? And what is she most proud of as she leaves the Marina Police Department? We asked for an interview with Monterey County elect Sheriff Tina Nieto, and she sat down to tell us those answers. Let's talk about the, the sheriff's office now. Um, I know that you're, you're in the process of picking your team, working on your team. Uh, lots of changes are going to be coming to the sheriff's yes. office. Um, how is that process going right now, picking your team? And what, what are some, how do you, how do you vet uh, your, your team as they come on? How does that process work? Part of it is, is knowing some of these people and seeing the work that they've done in their own cities. Um, everybody that's coming onto the team are law enforcement executives. They're chiefs of police or they were seconds in their agencies. You know, nobody's getting hired because their uh, friend or just a buddy. Um, I need to surround myself with people who know how to get the work done for our community. What, what are a couple of glaring things that really stand out to you that need, need work immediately once you get in there? Well, the, we, it gets back to the Hernandez settlement too. Yeah. I know that they, the sheriff's office recently did uh, complete a couple more things on that checklist, but we are going to be laser focused on meeting the mandates of the Hernandez settlement because all through the entire debate, people kept dying in our jails. Um, and despite what my opponent said, it's not that's not okay. That's not okay. We, we need to make sure the jails are safe for our inmates. Uh, the other thing is really looking at training and how we're recruiting and how we're bringing people on and, and why aren't people staying. Um, I already have auditors that are coming in. We're going to uh, do some pretty thorough audits of the department. When you look back here in your time in Marina, what would you what would you think your uh, biggest accomplishment would be? What was something that really stands uh, out? I, th I think the people. Yeah. The people. Uh, when you when I came in, um, you know there were openings. Uh, there were things that needed that we could do better as the city of Marina. You know, working with the community. Um, you know, all the prior chiefs did a good job, but you know. When a new person comes in, they get to look at things with a new lens and, and make changes. Anything else that you feel is important that you would like to point out? Anything you'd like to say to the community, the current sheriff, um, the, the folks who you're going to be uh, in charge of in just a matter of days? Yeah, you know, the one thing I can say is that, you know, we talked a lot about allegations that you can make against police officers. I'm, I'm going to investigate them all. In many cases, we may bring in independent investigators um, just so that the community trusts us. And, and I'm willing to talk about these things to the community, as you can see, because I, I talked about that through my campaign. You know, for a community to trust you, you have to have the conversations. And you have to have the hard conversations. And sometimes the hard conversations are the questions that you ask me, the hard questions. Sheriff elect Tina Nieto also promises transparency, she tells us, and giving us full access to cold cases for the county. And coming up in a week, our news director sits down in an exclusive interview with our current Sheriff Steve Bernal. He talks to him about his seven years of experience as a sheriff and what's next for him. So don't miss that exit interview. That's on Thursday, December 29th, right here on KION News Channel 46.